Oscar nominee Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller are reuniting. The duo starred in American Sniper. Cooper played Navy SEAL Chris Kyle. Miller co-starred as his wife. Their new movie is called Burnt. Cooper portrays a hot-headed chef. He's looking to resurrect his career and earn his third Michelin star. That is the culinary equivalent of an Oscar. He seeks help from a talented sous chef. Cooking's an expression of what? Tell me. At its best, of sustaining someone with love. Adam Jones, the Langham, is now one of the best and most interesting places in London to come and eat. Which part of that don't you like one of or interesting? I don't want my restaurant to be a place where you come and eat. I mean, we should be dealing in culinary orgasms. <laughs> When's the last time you had an orgasm that was interesting? I mean, never, ever to discuss food with you in public. Yes. We're hmm. pleased to welcome Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller to Studio 57. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having us. Let's begin yep. by talking about culinary orgasms. <laughs> yes, please. What, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> How do we you get one me, of those, girl. Bradley? How do you get one of those? Mm -hmm. That was a great line. I have them all the time. <laughs> I do. I love food so much. So this is making love with food. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Or well, the it's enjoyment true. of it. Yeah, right? the enjoyment. Yeah, I don't know if it's specifically I don't think it's making, making love with, love with food. Good morning, America. Charlie, How are you? Uh, <laughs> not great in May. <laughs> have you? Uh, no. But when you do make food, you should make it with love. And many poop people who are aficionados of food say you can tell when a chef loves their work mm. and loves what they're doing. I think that, that, that yeah. functions for everything, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, mm -hmm. that yeah. is true. Yeah. That's right. That's absolutely true. In, in every you can profession. taste the love in food, though. I know exactly what you mean. And yeah, my yeah. grandfather used to make the best sandwiches. I used to love when he would make me mm. onion and mozzarella sandwiches. But let's talk about your character, Adam You don't want to Jones. talk about the sandwiches? Yeah. I don't, onion, onion and mozzarella. I was really? still, I was <laughs> talking about it. I was like, wait, like, what? Yeah, that's no, really, I mean, that's He must really, have been a good chef if he made that. <laughs> that well, now really we know good. where culinary orgasm comes from, because onion makes everything bad, everything better to me, and so yeah. does yes. cheese. Yeah. But this is the thing about Adam Jones, your character. Bradley, he was so unlikable. He was such a bad boy. He clearly has a lot of issues. But as the movie progresses, you can see another side to him. What was it like for you to play that kind of character? It's so, and I know it's acting, I get it, mm -hmm. but it's so different from how we see you. Well, I mean, that's I've what was you. fun about it. I mean, he, I found him to be tremendously complex. Yes. Um, and it, you got to go to a lot of different emotional levels with him. Uh, and then the fact that I got to do it with Sienna Miller, this incredible cast, this international cast, and the world itself. I mean, the sort of peek behind the curtain of that level of cooking and what the pressure is and the, the attention to detail and the fact that we all did it, but you know, there's no sort of cooking doubles. There's no, we're doing all the cooking. You're the shucking those oysters? Shucking those, she's making yeah. the pasta, that's yeah. all. And she actually made pasta during the scene. Yeah. It's one thing to act in a scene, but imagine having to make pasta yeah. in the scene. The thing about this is like, it, it's such a human story. It's a real character, and I kind of love how on Hollywood it is in that sense. That this is this is the reality of a man who is battling his demons and really trying to overcome them. And it's an honest look at that, which I think is so refreshing. And to the love story too. It's not yeah. sort of formulaic in the relationship no. yeah. between Helene and Adam. Also, no, mm -hmm. it's it's a compliment to you, Sienna, that Matthew Waring, the consultant, the chef consultant, master Marcus, chef, yeah, Marcus, Marcus, Waring, yeah. Marcus, said that when it was over, if he could hire anybody, he would hire. Ta-da! You Ta -da. in the kitchen. Yeah. Smart man. Yeah. I'm actually thinking of a career change. Yeah. I could Did always do that. Did you cook before this? I, I loved, I loved cooking. I was, yeah. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> Joke. Um, no, I, I, I love cooking and I always have cooked. and love the ceremony of making food and, and family around a table, but I couldn't cook to this degree. So it was wonderful to be taught by this So man. Bradley speaks French in this film? He does. At any and opportunity, Bradley too. will see. It's so good, isn't it? Bradley, here's some French, here's some French. Could you say, Gail, what do you doing this evening? Gail, Gail, what do you want to do this evening? Not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> not a damn thing, brother. Whatever it is, not a damn thing. Oh, but that, but that was so fascinating, she, though, to see. She's alert and available. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> alert, that's yeah. the key. Yeah. This, this available is a key, too, Bradley. Yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, Bradley knows I'm smitten with him. Yeah. This, this is no secret. But it was so fascinating. You, you two have a very intense kitchen scene yeah. that I won't give away, but it was so mm. intense, Sienna. And I'm wondering when the camera cut, what it was like to, do you just say, okay, that was good? Was it a difficult it was, moment it, after that? Yeah, it was, it was a really unpleasant thing to go yeah. through. And we know each other so well and had worked consistently for a long time. So we can kind of get very real. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we spoke for the rest of the day. We knew to give each other our space because 
It was I think a we it hugged was, right after it, though. We hugged right yeah. after, and then we needed a you know a little bit of time. Because I think you, you needed the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe okay, I, was I needed scared. some time, right? <laughs> I was. I, I was, was more like following around. Like, is everything okay? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> do you still like me? Because you went from no, I was American joking. Sniper. You know, it was really. It, 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 was, it was brutal. It was brutal. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was very. But at the brutal. same time, we were so. Ha I mean, you're happy because that's what you're doing. I mean, yes. you're trying to you know, create these imaginary circumstances and live within them, and and have a, an honest moment, and that really was. Uh, a pivotal scene in the yeah. movie. Yes. And when you know each other well enough, you kind of can respect those, you know, you respect that, that things are complicated and difficult and unpleasant to go through, and it's, it, it does affect you, of course it does. There are many scenes, yes. but that scene alone is worth the and price And there's no way we would have been able to do it without having done American Sniper before. Uh, no way. No. Okay. Yeah. And quickly, too. It's not like you have a lot of time. You know, just pointed out, part of the promotion says, never underestimate a man with everything to lose. Mm. This was a guy with everything to lose? I mean, he had lost everything, and then there's more to lose. Yeah, I mean, when we meet him, he's basically has a self-imposed penance in New Orleans, shucking a million oysters because he had screwed up his life so horribly. And now he's just desperately trying to get it back. Yeah, the drug dealers are coming after him. This yeah, girl, he yeah. doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. He is hashtag hot mess. Yeah. But you were the one shucking those oysters. I thought that was interesting. That was really you. Yeah, that was the first day of work. And if you're ever going to slice your hand apart, it's shucking an oyster. And uh, they had actually like loosened 10 of their 15 of them up in the beginning. I thought, oh, that's good. But then yeah. we went through those in about 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. And there were about eight bags left to, to shuck. Go. Yeah. Uh, you might be said to be a man uh, with everything to gain. I mean, this must be the best time in your life. I think that's probably true, Charlie, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you're living in Paris and living in New York and living right. in Los Angeles. <laughs> now, you seem to have a multiplicity of, of offers to do different things. Mm -hmm. Elephant Man was a huge success in New York and London. Yeah. I mean, where do you see your trajectory? Oh, God, I don't know. I mean, I for always... a Nobel Prize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobel. <laughs> I've always had big dreams, always, uh, even as a kid, uh, but I've never had a plan ever. Uh, mm. I've never been a guy who has, like, the five-year plan or where do you... I just want to stay healthy, basically. Yeah, me too. And I also know that this isn't going to last, so as long as I'm here, I'm going to enjoy every day. And shame on me if I don't. That's how I look at it. Can you've been making you? news, though, Bradley, because you've been speaking out about the disparity in pay between men and women, and mm. you, you've made the decision, you said you are going to speak out about your salary. Discuss it with your co-star. You, Sienna, walked off of a play when you found out that your co-star was making less than you. Why did you decide? More than to, me. I mean, more than you. More than you. <laughs> she was just like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm making too here. much money. Yeah. <laughs> I meant more than you. Sorry. Yeah, Why did you decide to speak out, Bradley, in the uh, way you're doing it? Well, well really, what, never sort of was uh, positioned to speaking out. It was a response to Jennifer Lawrence's op-ed piece, mm -hmm. and I was asked about it. And, uh, you know, the way it works in our business is you are aware of people's salary if they come into a movie and they ask you to give up your salary which happens quite often because it's hard to get a movie made these days. Mm -hmm. Actors are paid less, budgets are, are, are tightened. That's just the way movie making is right now. Um, but this is, a, this is an issue uh, that's, and I mean, those figures that you were just showing before is unbelievable. I mean, that's, I, that is actually, the disparity is even more, uh, mm -hmm. has increased. So why not just have transparency in the beginning? Why not? Mm -hmm. And then, and then, because so the conversation started. It's such a taboo thing to talk about yes, what one makes right, in yes. every profession. Right. Yes. You know, but if you know if that's going to clear up some sort of uh, uh, inequality, why wouldn't we do it? Do you yeah, think it's getting better, Sienna? Do you think I the think attention that the conversation is happening on a global scale? I don't think a year ago we would be sitting around this table talking in the way that we are, and I think that that's a huge step forward. But. It's more about, it has to come from the, the value that we place in ourselves as much as anything else. I have consistently walked into situations and felt less than and not really sure why. And to be honest, it took turning down that play and the way that that made me feel to really be aware and of. You really wanted to do that play, I remember Yeah, that. I'm heartbroken, yeah. I'm desperate. You know, it was, it was something I was very passionate about, but ultimately to be paid less than half mm -hmm. what the other person was and you're doing the same job every day, same value in many ways. Well. Yeah. Sends a powerful yeah. message, both yeah. of you. Sends congratulations a on the movie. I love a chef myself. Mm -hmm. Married to one, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, oh, okay. Sienna Miller. Thank you so much. Burnt opens next Friday, October 30th.